The Powers and Functions of the British Prime Minister Introduction The Cabinet is the real ruler of Britain, and the Prime Minister is a key man in it. The institution of the Prime Ministership is the result of a convention. In 1905, the title Prime Minister was noted in a royal warrant and it was later mentioned in the Chequers Estate Act of 1917. The position of Prime Minister was legally recognized after the passage of the Ministers of the Crown Act of 1937. The Prime Minister is central to the life and death of the Cabinet. It is around his figure that a ministry is formed and his death or resignation brings about the automatic fall of the Cabinet. He thus creates, keeps, and destroys the Cabinet. According to the conventions of the country, a Prime Minister must belong to the House of Commons. Appointment of the Prime Minister The Prime Minister is appointed by the Crown, the King or Queen. After the general election in the country, the King invites the person who has a majority in the House to form the government. We can also say the choice of the Prime Minister is automatic. But sometimes the choice of the Prime Minister can present complications. Complications arise when the Prime Minister dies in office or resigns for personal reasons and the majority party has no recognized leader. In that case, the Queen has the absolute right to consult and summon anyone she pleases. Powers and Functions The following are the powers and important functions of the British Prime Minister. a. Leadership of the Cabinet The Prime Minister is the leader of his Cabinet. He is the dominant personality in the cabinet. If the cabinet is the engine of the ship of the state, the prime minister is the driver. He forms the ministry. He appoints the ministers and can also dismiss them with the approval of the king or queen. b. The leader of the House of Commons. The prime minister is the leader of the House of Commons. He represents the cabinet in the House of Commons. He is the chief spokesman of the government and all important announcements in the House are made by him. As a leader of the House of Commons, he has the power to correct the errors in the statements issued by his colleagues. c. Source of communication. The Prime Minister is a source of communication between the King and Cabinet. He plays a vital role between the King and Cabinet. The Prime Minister is the mouthpiece of the Cabinet which conveys his views and decisions to the Crown, and at the same time, he conveys the Crown's messages to the Cabinet. d. Control over foreign affairs. The Prime Minister controls foreign affairs. He formulates foreign policies. He can exchange public messages with the ministers of other countries. The British Prime Minister also attends international conferences. e. National Leader. The Prime Minister is the national leader of the country. He makes all policies for his country. He is the leader of his people. f. Control over the finances. The British Prime Minister also controls the finances of the country. The budget is prepared with his knowledge and he is kept informed about the financial affairs. g. Powers of appointment. Important appointments are made by the Crown on the advice of the Prime Minister. He can appoint ambassadors of the country, diplomatic representatives, governor-generals of dominions, governors of colonies, finance ministers, members of the cabinet, civil officers, military officers and church officers. h. Chairman of various bodies. The Prime Minister is the chairman of various bodies. He is the ex officio chairman of the important committees. J. Acknowledged leader of his party. The Prime Minister is the acknowledged leader of his party, which is the majority party in Parliament. K. Chief Advisor of the Crown. The Prime Minister is the Chief Advisor of the Crown. He advises the Crown on important matters. L. Right to choose the date of the election. The Prime Minister is the only person in the British government who decides when to hold a general election that is, to dissolve Parliament and go to the polls. M. Policy Maker. The Prime Minister is the policy maker. All important policies are made by him. N. Power of Dissolution. 
the Prime Minister is the only person authorized to advise the King to dissolve the House of Commons. The Prime Minister should consult the Cabinet on the issue of dissolution. O. Oh. Settlement of disputes. The Prime Minister settles disputes between the different departments of the government.